We're not that far away, so it's not going to be that big of a deal to get back. But I think I might have lost all those souls because I don't think I can get them. Um, all right, let's let's try going this way a few more times. Is there? A, I don't even remember if there's a safe fall ring in this game. Here I am trying to do a walkthrough and I don't remember half the shit about it. Jesus, pathetic. Um, but oh, I forgot to go in here and get all this good looty loots. Uh, oh dear. Who? Who? Spin. Spin to win! Spin, spin, spin. Thank you, game, for not being completely mean to me. That was... I should have died in that room. I love you, Halberd. Okay, let's try to do this again. Okay, that one's dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was charging his laser for a little bit too long there. Oh, cool. It just spawns my souls up here. Good. Alright. Um. Let's try. Whoa! Oh, no. No, 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 I need to jump. I need to jump and hit that. Hit that body. Alright. Let's actually jump now. That is such a red herring thing. I hate that. Whoa! Damn it! God fucking damn it, 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 damn it. I'm not even jumping to the right platform. I should be going to the the right. There's another perfectly flat thing. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. I guess I was just tunneling in. Ugh. Oh, oh, God, he parried me. No. Damn it, skeleton. Skeleton, no. Get off. Get off. Dick. Okay. Alright, make a drink. Well, that skeleton's still alive down there. We am hokey pokeying. Does the hokey pokey and he turns himself around? Okay, uh, I can't make it to that one. There's one like right down there. Who? Shit! <laughs> okay. Maybe if I just run straight off. Maybe maybe the rolling is what's getting me killed. If I can run straight off and just make it down there, maybe that'll be fine. <laughs> run straight off. Ha ha ha. That is how you do it. You run straight off. Got it. Green Titanite shard. There was a green Titanite shard there. Mm, but I would have needed green Titanite before I went here, so that's actually not really a big deal. Okay, good, good, we're here, we made it. I like how they introduce him like he's a boss. <laughs> it's so cool. It's the blacksmith. Hey, buddy. How are you? What's that thing? Need some smithing? Then produce me some wares. All right. Uh, can we get any uh, weapon reinforcements? Oh, we can upgrade the Black Knight Sword Five. Oh my God. I need it. It's so good. Oh. We can also upgrade our divine halberd. To plus two, very good for us there. Um, repair our equipment. Uh, let's re repair. Let's repair everything. Sure, got the souls for it. Okay. And what does he got for purchase? Homeward bones, titanite shards, um, a bunch of arrows. We have a bunch of homeward bones. I don't think we need more of those. Um, but anyway, this guy 
is our other blacksmith. He will be able to forge our chaos weapons when we get around to using chaos weapons. But for now, he just kind of is grouchy and doing his own thing. So we're going to leave him be. Um, and now I'm going to run this way because we're about to get a bunch of pinwheel skeletons up our butts. Okay, 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 we're good. Woo-choo-choo! -choo! Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay, they're all leaving. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. No! You guys need to leave me the fuck alone! Hate you! Okay, okay, this long hallway is gonna get me killed. Go through here. Okay, they can't follow me. Whew. Sorry about whistling straight into the microphone. That was probably really stupid and annoying. Um, We're about to fight some pinwheel. Let's throw on our lovely, lovely Black Knight sword and get ready to kick this guy's ass. Watcha! I should have actually drank the Estus ask after I landed. I forgot that there was falling damage. My bad. Hi, Pinwheel. Back here, you bitch. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Pinwheel, um, he's just. Yes! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Pinwheel is um, really stupidly easy for some reason. I don't know why they decided to make Pinwheel so freakishly, like, not even remotely hard to kill. Um, but we just got the Mask of the Child. The Mask of the Child is very good. Very, very good, in fact. Um, we have no really any other... We have no real, real business down here now, so we're gonna homeward bound back. I don't feel like doing all the climbing back to get out of here. Um, but anyway, the Mask of the Child is extremely good. It causes us to recover stamina quite similarly to the Grass Crest Shield. So, one swing, and that's how fast our stamina comes back. Yeah, it's, it's really, really, really crazy good. Um, and with all the other stamina items we're going to be stacking to regen our stamina as fast as possible, it's going to make our lives really, really easy as far as being able to kill stuff with no problem. Like, as if we weren't overpowered enough already, now it's just going to be ridiculous. Um, I forgot to spin my souls. I don't think that's a big deal. Yeah, I don't think spending our souls is a big deal. It's not like anything in here can kill me now. And we don't have any necromancers to deal with, so I'm gonna be putting my divine weapon away for the time being. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So let's get out of here. We're gonna backtrack all the way back to... That lovely place we were earlier, um, and we're gonna head to Blight Town next. Blight Town is kind of famous in Dark Souls as being the most asinine place in the game for a few reasons, but for us, it's gonna be really not hard at all because I've prepared specifically for Blight Town. A lot of the armor I'm wearing right now has Blight Town in mind. Um, in particular, the stone armor set has very high poison resistance, if I remember correctly. 
and I can look at the stats actually just say straight up yes or no on that hang on let me rest of this bonfire uh, there we go um we have more than enough endurance now because I've got that mask so I'm gonna be using the child mask in the stone armor set so I don't really need any more endurance so I tell you what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna put a couple points in I could put points in strength or I could put points in vitality I think I'm gonna get my vitality up to 20 and then um, start putting points in strength because not having a lot of vitality is gonna start to get on our nerves there we go poison resist 78 I think that's pretty good it wasn't as much as I thought it was. The curse resist is very good on that, and the bleed resist is just ridiculous, and that's the reason I've never had to worry about bleeding, ever. Um, ton of poise. We have two attunement slots, we don't just have one, that's weird. I'm not sure why we have two, I didn't, I don't remember the game giving me two to start off with. But whatever, um, we're going to Blight Town now. And... I might skip most of the trip there because it's going to be doing a lot of things that most of you have already seen. So, you know, we might just make this the end of the, um, the end of the episode. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make this the end of the episode. Next time we'll be in Blight Town and we will be having a bunch of fun in the quote-unquote hardest place in Dark Souls. Which actually isn't the hardest place in Dark Souls, people are just... They just say that because, I don't know, Blight Town scares people for some reason. I could probably go into more detail as to why when we actually get there.